What is up YouTube? I'm back once again with yet another DIY Tesla Power Update video. As you can see I've done quite a few modifications. I have basically, if I swing the camera over, I have relocated everything in this room so that nothing is under the table that I'm using now. So that is um, quite a bit better than before. It's more spacious. Um, if I show you down there, there's nothing down there anymore. It's all nice and tidy and it's just good as maybe a fire hazard if something was to go wrong. Uh, there's nothing really around it that could catch on fire besides itself, I guess. But um, anyway, uh, I've spent a couple of days working on this system, trying to get it like up to scratch so it's kind of safe. Right now, it really hasn't had any trouble in not being safe, but I just wanted to make it a little bit more official, a bit more tidy and just easier to use in general if I do need to do any troubleshooting or just general like maintenance to the system. So right now I am pretty much done with this. The only thing I've got to add is my charge controller, which I'm going to add up here. And then I'm going to have wires with holes coming through to the charge controller. So then I can monitor the amps that are going into the battery. So that is coming. I'm still waiting for that to come. Currently, I haven't been using a charge controller. I've had basically the solar panel plugged directly to the negative and positive, which isn't like good, but it's not a very big solar panel. And so far, I've had no issues with too much current going into each cell. It's been charging pretty evenly. So uh, it's not really a problem with that. I have got it to 100% before. Basically, all of these are exactly 4.2 volts because this one's a little lower capacity so by the time it gets to the top it basically all balances out so I probably will end up working on this adding a few more high capacity cells to get it with the rest of the pack but I'm just going to leave it for now and when I get more cells I'll do that so talking about cells uh, I've tested quite a few cells uh, most of these cells I didn't expect to be good I was actually going to bin them out because they're at low voltage but it seems that they are uh, testing really good. If I get an example of one of the ones that I was very surprised with, I found this one at 0.5 volts. And when I tested it, I got 2200 milliamps. So uh, it does go to say that giving every cell a chance, even if it is at a low voltage, can sometimes yield a good result. So that's good with that. Uh, a lot of the others are. 2000, the grey ones are 2600 million powers, so that's good. Uh, these are almost 2000, they're about 1900. Then I've got uh, the green ones, which are also at 800 with the red ones as well. So basically, all these cells are roughly at 800, and then you've got some in the 2000s. But yeah, that is definitely going into my next pack, so then I can have four in series, which I'm looking forward to. And then as I get more cells, I'm going to move that down so then I'll have it kind of out to here so that is definitely to come probably gonna get uh, some more inverter stuff with a higher voltage because right now these are both 12 volt I'm going to explain how these work now so basically how the system works is I've got two inverters with two separate DC wires going to them and then they go through the back into the battery negative and positive and with that I have basically two lines on the circuit breaker so line one is basically whatever plug is plugged into the inverter so line one right now is this cord here and if I want to switch that I can just unplug that and put it into this inverter so line two is this power point here and that is activated with this switch here and then there's a power point down there which I'll show you later that is connected to line one so here it's uh, the fan kind of kicked in, I don't know if you hear that, but I've got a load down there. And then if I need to just switch it off like that. So that's always nice having that just to isolate everything. And then I can also um, hard unplug these and um, unscrew the terminals off there. So that's always good. And then I've got my discharge process here. So that's running off the inverter right now. I've currently got no cells in it. I'm still waiting for those to charge. But yeah, so basically a little bit more about the circuit breaker is the wires go in, um, the active is 
wide and parallel with this these two switches um, these aren't tied together they're separate so we don't get any issues with them being out of phase of each other and then one gets reverse polarity and fries so they are both separate the grounds are tied together and then we've got the uh, neutral just passing through connected together so basically it's obviously a switch you can switch them on and off and then the power comes out from the switches so this is line one that goes down and through the back under the desk and then to the power point and then we just got line two going straight into the power point. I just thought I'd quickly add that I've got a grounding rod now a proper one before I had an iron rod going into the ground and now I've got a stainless steel uh, copper coated grounding rod so these two ground wires go out the back and then if you can see I've got the ground wire here that goes down a bit of a cable mess there but I'm going to work on that and then that goes down to there and then out the back to the grounding rod so I've got a bit of tape here insulating it so it doesn't touch the um, metal and then I've got it coiled up with the warning sticker not to disconnect this uh, connection and then I've basically got the grounding rod put into the ground so I had a few people saying that the other grounding rod wasn't sufficient and I totally agree with that it was just something as a little bit of a safety margin for me to get going and now since I've invested more time and money into the project I found it worth getting a proper grounding rod so I mean that is pretty much it uh, I'll probably give you a few more updates when I start doing some more processing with the cells and maybe I can do a bit of a run over of how I do the um, bus bars because I haven't really shown that that much and yeah so when that um, does happen and when I do get my solar charge controller I'll definitely give you guys another update but that is pretty much all for now if you did enjoy please give this video a like and subscribe for more updates and I'll see you guys in the next video